As the countdown starts, the boxing world braces for a clash of titans. Terence Bud Crawford, the pound-for-pound -pound king, is also known for his broad ring IQ. He has started his training camp to prepare for a massive showdown against the young champion, Israel Madrimov. But in the sweat and grit of Crawford's camp lies the question, can the master maintain his royalty against the hungry young lion? Going into this fight, there is a seven-year age difference. Terence Crawford is 36, while Israel is only 29 years. Now both of these fighters are the same height. They're both 5'8", but Terence Crawford will come into this fight with the reach advantage, six-inch reach advantage to be exact. Defending champions promote and chairman of Matchroom Boxing, Eddie Hearn gave his prediction for this match. While sitting in the latest press conference of Terence and Israel, Eddie said while pointing at Israel, This guy is super elite, you know, when he won the world title with ease in Riyadh to take your first defense against Terence Crawford. Shows you what he's all about. I promise you, this guy will bring everything to this fight. This is a very dangerous fight for Terence Crawford. The man to my left, this guy is, is super elite. You know, when he won the world title with ease in Riyadh, to take your first defense against Terence Crawford shows you what he's all about. I promise you this guy will bring everything to this fight. This is a very dangerous, dangerous fight for Terence Crawford, I believe. Bo Mack and the Eddie Hearn praised the fight between a pound-for-pound -pound great and a world champion in the sport, acknowledging Crawford's status as a pound-for-pound -pound great. He noted Crawford faces a hungry champion who plans to defend his title in his first defense. Eddie Hearn further praises the supremacy of Terence Crawford, but continues to choose Israel as a favorite. As always, our back my man. This guy is a super athlete, huge puncher, huge 154-pounder, and all the respect, but my man is ready to keep his championship in Los Angeles on August third. As always, I back my man. This guy is a super athlete, huge puncher, huge 154 pounder. And all the respect to the Crawford team, but my man ready to keep his championship in Los Angeles on August 3rd. Terence Crawford comes into this fight with 40 wins and zero losses, and 31 of those wins come from knockout. Now, for those who may not be too familiar with Israel, he stopped Majid Karanoff in the fifth round in his last fight and secured the vacant WBA super welterweight title. Crawford will have a superior boxing IQ, and the way Crawford can switch from southpaw to orthodox will cause some problems for Israel. On being asked, is there any hesitation in taking this fight? Israel Madrimov replied, yeah, there's no hesitation because this is what I've been here in boxing for. And as soon as I heard the news, I was very happy. I knew right away that I wanted this fight. Israel remained respectful towards his senior opponent throughout the speech, and he further said, I started pro career by fighting the best boxers, and now fighting best in the world pound by pound Terence Crawford. I like his style and the big respect. While heading towards Terence Crawford, the presenter asked, There are so many names linked with your move to 154 pounds, maybe Errol Spence, potentially Sebastian Fendor. There was a lot of talk about Jamal Charlo by Israel Medrimov. I consider... Israel the best 154 pounder in the division right now. So why not go for the top guy in the division right off the bat? Terence humbly replied, Well, I consider Israel the best 154 pounder in the division right now. So why not go for the top guy in the division right off the bat? He further discussed his goals and why he chooses to go for 154 pounders. Just continuing being the best, you know, um, I want to leave a legacy that's never been left before, you know, inside and outside the ring, um, business-minded, uh, just helping the young fighters coming up, you know, giving them the courage and the outlet that the fighters before me never gave to us, you know, and at the same time, be at the top on my game as a well. Just continue in being the best. You know, um, I want to leave a legacy that's never been left before. You know, inside and outside the ring, uh, business minded, uh, just helping the young fighters coming up, you know, giving them the, the courage and the outlet that the fighters before me never gave to us, you know, and at the same time, be at the top on my game as well. Terence is sharpening up his tools now. He is getting ready for the start of that undisputed title at 154 against Israel Madrimov. But Crawford is not the only one sharpening his skills. Israel Madrimov is also sculpting his own path to glory. With raw power and determination, he's on a collision course with Crawford's legacy.
As the training clips unfold side by side, anticipation mounts. Will the seasoned champ fend off the ferocious challenger, or will Terence rewrite history in the ring? Bud Crawford is on a conquest to conquer 154B3X Undisputed. That is a crazy legacy. You never seen Bud trying to kill the pads with power or crazy speed. He just works on perfecting the punch and sharpening the IQ awareness of his movement. A few days back, Terrence was spotted in top-ranked boxing gym with his homie and found so confident while stating, Do you see the arms? Do they look fat? Do that look fat? Do you see the chest? Do you see the stomach? I ain't fat. Do you see the forearm? Do you see the forearm? Do that look fat? Mm -hmm. Do you see the chest? Only thing that's different you are you see the stomach? I ain't fat. I ain't fat. You see the form? Yet, amidst the shifting tides of fame and fortune, a new narrative emerges in the 154-pound division. With Terence Crawford's name looming large among the contenders, the stage is set for a riveting discussion on the future of the division. In the show Deep Waters, the presenter asked one of the experts, Stardom has its privileges. The thing right now, the challengers are really the stars at 154 pounds. To name a few, you have Terence Crawford, of course, we all know him, pound for pound, probably the best in the world, Jamal Charlo, former champion, Tim Zhu, Errol Spence Jr., Danny Garcia, waiting in the wings. Let's start with you, Chris Algieri. If I give you $1,000, which of these fighters are you betting on to be champ at 154 by the end of the year? As the discussion turned to predictions, Chris Algieri weighed in with a revealing insight. Terrence Crawford. I think that's the move. Um, I've been saying that for a while. I think that he had his eyes really, really locked in on that Tim Zhu Fandora fight. Um, you know, he went out in public and said that he was going to enact his mandatory position for the WBO. The chairman of Saudi Arabia's General Entertainment Authority, Turki Alal Sheikh, controls the biggest purse strings in boxing and expressed plans to use that power to fix a sport. The exclusive interview took place last month following the formal announcement of Alal Sheikh's first boxing event outside Saudi Arabia, a stacked card headlined by pound-for-pound -pound boxer Terence Crawford, fighting against Israel Madrimov for the WBA junior middleweight title in Los Angeles. We care we carefully planned our activities for the last six months, Alal Sheikh said. We are spending the money to commercialize our season and at the same time to test the market and know all the secrets about the market. And now we have a lot of information and we have our own studies and we think from what we tested in the last six months, there is big opportunity in boxing. But you must improve the market. You must fix all the problems. Turkey Alal Sheikh posted on social media this month a picture of Terence Crawford with one glove emoji in what appears to be a hint of having him fight in one of his cards in Saudi Arabia. Crawford quickly responded with wide-eyed emotion, showing his interest in fighting. Now the question is, who would His Excellency Alal Sheikh have in mind for the 36-year-old Crawford, and whether they could agree on a price? Turkey said, We want to give people around the world the opportunity to enjoy their own Riyadh season experience, and this is exactly what we hope to achieve by staging this and also future events around the world. The presenter asked Terence, in an interview right after the press conference, You've been mentioned with a lot of names over the last six months. Tell us how it came to be that you are fighting Israel Madrimov. In the aftermath of the press conference, Terence sheds light on the road to facing Israel Madrimov. Well, my weight to 154, uh, led me to be fighting Israel. Um, I consider him the best, you know, junior middleweight fighter in the division right now. And when Turkey had called me, he was just like, hey, this is a fight that we want to make. And I was like, hey, let's make it. So, you know, he made everything happen, and here we are. Crawford's TKO victory over Errol Spence Jr. in 2023 saw him crowned as the undisputed welterweight champion and the first male boxer boxer to become an undisputed champion in two weight divisions. Should he win all four belts at super welterweight, he will become the first ever boxer boxer to become a three division undisputed king, he said in an interview. There's potentially two belts on the line if Sebastian Fundora doesn't fight me after this. I'm the WBO and WBA champion. If he does fight me, then that's three belts on the line. There's only one more to capture after that. So, potentially, two or three fights that's undisputed. After dominating the welterweight division, he is now moving up to 154 LBs. 
Crawford has previously dominated the super lightweight and lightweight divisions. Crawford said, I cannot wait to get back in the ring in my fourth weight class and remind the world why I'm the best pound for pound fighter in the world. Israel Madrimov is a tremendous and entertaining fighter, but on August 3rd, he will be my next victim. This is the Terence Crawford era. Extending his unbeaten streak in professional boxing and building on his amateur career, Madrimov said, Terence Crawford is one of my favorite boxers and one of the best boxers in the world. I am very excited to get this opportunity to make a statement, and I will, inshallah. Boxing pros have announced their picks for the upcoming Terence Crawford vs. Israel Madrimov fight on August 3rd, a highly anticipated bout for the WBA. Israel Madrimov is considering using his title Victory to defeat Crawford in the upcoming fight. Probox TV analysts Teddy Atlas and Polly Malagi predict an upset will depend on Crawford's decline, as he turns 37 a month after the bout. Malag Nagy said, At this time, you can always age overnight. Guys just show up older. You consider that in the Madrimov fight. Teddy Atlas compared facing Crawford to a sausage grinder, stating that age and diminished skills could potentially defeat him. Atlas clarified that these concerns are not related to Crawford's weight gain or fight history. Atlas said, It's like going into a sausage grinder. Crawford's going to grind you up with counter punches. Age and slowed skills are the only things I see beating Crawford. It's not linked to moving up in weight. Atlas assesses boxers based on punch count and fight toughness. Deeming Crawford fresh and not expecting any issues, Atlas added, and he doesn't have a lot of miles on the odometer. I judge a guy by the amount of punches he's taken, by how many tough fights he's been in. He's still fresh. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Madrimov, trained by undefeated champion Dmitry Bal and former unified junior featherweight title holder Mirjan Ahmad Alv in Coachella Valley, California, has made a remarkable journey to world title holder. Malagnagi said, Madrimov is rough around the edges and can give you a rough time. He's a new champion, and he's going to be hungry and wanting to create a bigger name for himself and his legacy. Crawford would be a huge feather to have in his hat, but if Madrimov is going to have a chance, he has to hope Crawford has lost a few steps. In the realm of boxing punditry, Showbiz the Adult voices a sobering perspective on the impending clash. Showbiz the Adult highlighted the knockout power of Madrimov and believes that it could be a problem for Terence Crawford on the fight night. Madrimov is a straightforward slugger, big punches and big hooks, no special effects, nothing like the fighters Terence Crawford has slaughtered, nothing like the Mean Machine, nothing like David Evian. He's not a straightforward seek and destroy fighter like Errol Spence, who Crawford destroyed, nothing like that. This guy, Madrimov, is totally different when it comes to styles. I really fear for Terence Bud. On the other hand, Atlas compared Crawford's speed and skills to Michael Jordan's basketball game pace control, stating that Madrimov's main challenge would be Crawford's speed and ability to slow down a fight. Atlas responded, The problem for Madrimov is going to be speed and all the elements Crawford brings. He's got good eyes, good timing. He's so calm that he slows the fight down, like Michael Jordan would slow the game down. Atlas acknowledged Madrimov's amateur experience, physical strength, and technical proficiency, but also noted his predictability. He approaches opponents' head on targeting the body, but Atlas feared his slow feet and hands might hinder his fight against Crawford. Atlas continued, I've watched Madrimov, and yeah, he's a real experienced amateur, and yeah, he's physically strong, and yeah, he's technically solid, but he's also predictable. He comes at you straight on, uses his physicality, goes to the body, his feet, and his hands are too slow. Both of those will conspire against him. In the corridors of boxing promotion, Eddie Hearn weighs in on the impending showdown, offering a candid assessment of Israel Madrimov's potential impact. My man here is going to derail the plan. Honestly, don't bet against Israel Madrimov. This is a very tough fight. I think this is going to be the toughest fight for Terence Crawford's career so far, because he is a young world champion, a strong world champion, and a prime world champion. Amidst the chorus of predictions, Andre Rosier, a seasoned voice in the boxing realm, lends his perspective to the debate. Without a doubt, I got Terence Crawford at 154 now. Boots is the only one I can see, but I'm with TC all the way. I'm with Terence Crawford all the way. The boxing community eagerly awaits the outcome of this clash which promises not only to be a defining moment in both fighters' careers, but also a monumental event that could shape the landscape of the sport for years to come. Make sure to check out some of our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one. And don't forget to subscribe for all the latest updates and analysis from the world of boxing.